All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, as the title reads, we're going to do a video today on the Jurassic Paul Dillette at the 1999 Mr. Olympia, where he looked absolutely phenomenal, I think. I mean, he could have been a little drier, but I think he looked pretty good at the 1999 Mr. Olympia, where he placed seventh. Now, that was a really good placing because that 1997, I mean, 1999 Mr. Olympia was loaded. I mean, it was fucking stacked. 1 through 11 could have been a Mr. Olympia champion nowadays. I say it all the time. I just did a video on Lee Priest and Marcus Rule at the 1999 Mr. Olympia. And they placed pretty good. 8th and 7th. I mean, 8th and 9th, I think. But you got to remember, like I said, that lineup was just super stacked. Lee Priest placing 8th. Come on, he looked phenomenal. He was super shredded. If he wasn't his the height that he was, he would have probably placed in the top three, but I digress. Now, Paul Dillette's career spanned from 1991 to 2006, but 1999 was his last Mr. Olympia contest. He did a shitload of Grand Prix in his career. He did 22 Grand Prix in his career. 1997 was probably the craziest year of his career. I mean, the guy did about 12 shows 11 shows in 1997. That is insane. Guys today do two shows, maybe one show to qualify, two shows to qualify, and that's the end of it. Back then, these guys were fucking workhorses. Workhorses, I'm telling you. But he started off his career in 1993 at the Arnold Classic. And then the 1993 Mr. Olympia, he placed sixth. At that Arnold in 93, he placed fourth. Then at the 1995 Mr. Olympia, he didn't compete. At the 1996 Mr. Olympia, he placed fifth. So his placings were getting better. Then the 1997 Mr. Olympia, he placed fifth. Pretty good placing as well because the 1997 Mr. Olympia was fucking stacked. 1998, he didn't in place. 1999, he placed seventh, and this was his last year competing. And guys, this is the night show footage. Uh, the footage before this was prejudging, and I think that he looked a little bit better in prejudging. I think he faded a little bit at the night show. That's just my opinion. Now, the footage is a little clearer for the night show, and the lighting is a little bit better. Actually, the lighting is a lot better. I don't know why the lighting is so dark. At prejudging, at all the Mr. Olympia contests, even Arnold Classic contests, the prejudging lighting sucks and the backdrop is black. So it just throws everything off. But in, you know, at the night show, look at the lighting. I mean, he just looks fantastic, but he could have been drier. He definitely could have been drier. Now, I heard Paul Dillette didn't like to diet, supposedly. So when he would come into competitions, he would do a shitload of clamuterol and whatnot to dry himself out and a lot of diuretics and shit to dry himself out because he never liked to diet. I mean, I never liked dieting neither. When I was uh, working out and training, I hated dieting. But you got to diet. I mean, you got to diet hard to get that paper thin, fucking ripped skin. You know what I mean, guys? I mean, he's pretty cut up. If this was nowadays, he would probably place first, second, or third at a Mr. Olympia contest. But this was back in 1999, guys, when everybody was super shredded. Just think about it. Lee Priest placed eighth, and he was super shredded. I mean, way more shredded than Paul Dillette, and Paul placed seventh. Lee Priest looked better than Paul Dillette, in my opinion. I mean, if Lee Priest was a little bit taller, he probably would have placed in the top three. If he was five foot eight or even five foot six, he probably would have placed in the top three. But I digress because bodybuilding politics really suck. I say it all the time. So guys, let me know what you think about this version of the Jurassic Paul Dillette at the 1999 Mr. Olympia. And do you agree with me? And do you think that he should have placed worse than seventh? Because I don't think he should have placed seventh. I think, like I said, Lee Priest was better than Paul Dillette. But anyways, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.